Suck your foot in, and it'll fucking cock you all over, and you just try to fucking rip your skin right off. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. I got back dirty old one eye here. She's got a little overheating issue or something. She goes and then falls off and then shuts down. So I'm not sure what the hell's going on, to be honest with you. Oh, the firemen down there doing their doorly chores. Doorly chores. Can't even speak. Put that there for now. Hi, hey, Beba. Hello. What you doing? Making a cucumber thing. Mel's not going to be home with us. Why? She's in Victoria. Why'd you take her there? I don't think I should have. No. She's bored. Yeah, but I don't care. We just stuffed that that we weren't going to take her there. I... Now she's hanging out with all the hooligans. Thanks, sakes. What's really going on? Anyways. Ooh, I might get some freaking right, Jim. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, one eye. I gave this to Trevor Couture because, you know, he goes racing and stuff and he wanted a scooter for scooting around. Oh, is that the racetrack? But no. Gives it to some kid and the kid does burnouts on it. it. Makes the tire bald, like very bald. And then wonders why it won't stay on. What's really going on, Trev? Frank, I know you don't care, but I care. It's one eye. One eye was my buddy. He was a good little scooter, he was. So, what's happening with it is when you floor it, it goes for about three seconds and then shuts off. Like it's almost going into protection. So I got the bottom tore apart here on it and I'm gonna check the battery, see what kind of voltage we got off the battery. See if the battery is junk or good. That will kind of start us off somewhere decent anyway. Now I'm no electrician guy or anything. You think if the controller was bad, it wouldn't come on at all. That's what I would think anyways. So let's see what kind of juice this battery's making. I don't even know what uh, this card is for battery to be honest with you let's we'll see it is a how you doing captain it is a it is a 36 volt battery so let's hit it with a juice to see what we got captain what do we got for voltage we've got 39 volts so the battery is good 100 percent friggin right it is that's a good battery captain so what I'm thinking is it's probably in the motor on the scooter itself though. So one of these must go. I take it those probably go to the motor. Who in the hell wired this thing up? What a god darn mess. Tis. Frank, can you see that? Look at this. What? <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll untangle this mess somehow. Even my scooter looks like this. I don't know what's going on with these guys and assembling these things. They must have thrown them together. Say, who cares? Just put it together, Captain. It don't matter if it's all tangled up and cocked over. Just slap her together, Jim. Why wouldn't you? Here's another one that has to be boating, boating around and up and down and decked over. I'm glad they put, you know, crazy glue on here or whatever it is. You know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna end up poking myself. Wouldn't be the first time I poked myself. Just so you know, this video isn't really about fixing this thing. It's just about trying to uh, get it apart. I wonder where that goes. Oh, that goes on that doodad. Or whatnot. So this one goes to where? This is a charge connector. Well, that's a charge cord, so we can take that one off. Because we're not charging the battery today. 10-4. There we go. I'll get this thing figured out, don't you worry. So there we go, battery is well disconnected and not touching anything. So I'll give that a little tape job just to hold her back. Kinda like to be in control here. I like to know where my wires are going and stuff. Makes me feel better that way. So this is a out to that and this and the other thing, which goes through here and over to here and around there and holy cow. We're gonna flip this bitch over. I notice there's a bunch of screws falling out of it too. This thing's about ready to kill somebody. Oh, careful. That's about ready to kill somebody. All right, so first thing you want to do is turn it all the way around. 
Come over here now. Get over here, would you? Pop these out, and we got ourselves some Allen keys. No way, really? I'm almost pretty sure the motor is thing. If you want to know my honest to God opinion. What is going on here? What size are these bastards? What size? How you doing? We should check resistance on the ohm meter of the doodads. We'll do that in one sec. Just call me a hooligan in the morning, baby. Does this come off now? I don't know. This probably screw has come out too. Oh yeah, for sure that has come out. Which is broke right off too. Holy, this thing seems some freaking beating on. There we go. Something happened. What is going on here? Oh, well, there's more screws. Why wouldn't there be? 10-4 over. How you doing? 10-4 over. All right, so that's off. So now what we gotta do is we got to pull these out, disconnect the motor for the motors. Disconnect the doodads for the motors. So here's one. Are you looking? Probably not. Here's one. So we'll take that off. That's part of the motor. And then these come off somehow. I wonder if they're just like slide offs. We're gonna have to cut the heat shrink. Nothing like a good heat shrink cut, boys. Girls, peoples. Oh yeah, nothing like a good finger cut off too. See that coming. Nope. I'm hoping that I can look up something on the internet and tell me the resistance of a motor on a scooter. Because then I can test it with my doodad. And it does pull apart. Well, I'll be dipped. Doesn't look like a bad connection. There we go. So if you took, take two of these and put them together or touch them, the wheel shouldn't spin. You should feel resistance anyways. Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely resistance. So those are good. Yeah, resistance. What else? Let's try this one and this one. Yep. Let's try this one and this one. See that? Swing, right? Doing, doing. Touch, stop. So that's good. There's resistance there. So I wonder if it is a controller. What does this do? Let's check the ohms. See what we got for ohms. So that's reading when I hit it. That's reading when I hit it. So each one of these wires is 12 volts. So we go 12, 24, 36. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So if I actually ground this to the car, ground this to the chassis, each one of these should be like 12 volts, I think. But I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not a technical guy here. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Hold on. Look for a ground. Right here. This might be a ground right there. Try that. Oh, you can definitely tell I'm grounding out. That's... Huh. Like I said, I'm not good at this. Leave me a comment down below if you guys worked on scooters or if anybody's watching this that works on scooters. And hit me up and tell me where to check. What happens is when I throttle it, it works for a second until it seems to get a heavy load and then it just shuts off. It won't turn back on until I plug it in the wall for a few minutes and then take it off. It comes back on, full battery, hit the throttle, works for a few seconds, shuts off. Let me know if you've seen this before, if you're a scooter guy. Actually, please let me know because I'm actually on here to get some advice on where to go from here. So let me know if you think it's a motor or the controller. Controllers are 40 bucks. I don't mind buying that. But I don't want to buy one if that's not the problem. If it's in the motor, then, you know, we'll have to go from there. But if you're watching this video and you don't mind hitting me up for a few little answers here, that'd be much appreciated for sure. And then I can kind of go from there because I really would like to fix this scooter because it does work really nice. It's not a bad little scoot scoot, if you know what I'm saying. There's the screws I need screws for. What the hell does that hold anyways? Oh, that holds the whole front end on. Oh, that's great. Whole front end just, you know, falling apart, coming off, you know, just out to kill you, basically. That piece that the screws are coming out holds this whole piece on. So that'd be awesome if that fell off. I'm glad I seen that. But leave me a comment down below. 
and let me know what you think if you're a scooter guy and if you're not interested in this video i understand because you know obviously you're not a scooter guy if you're not interested in it i probably sound like a total meatball telling you what's going on here but i'm sorry if i do i'm not trying to i just trying to figure this shit out if you know what i mean i'm gonna make a metal thing for this too if i get it going instead of plastic it breaks all the time i'll bend up a piece of metal for this so you don't get your foot wedged in here when you're going because when you're going forward like this see you're going really really fast like this really fast and then you hit it with something it'll suck your foot in it'll cock you all over and you're just trying to rip your skin right off and pull you through like that so it definitely needs a fender found another problem this was making noises there you go jim so anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video subscribe like please subscribe and like if you watch this or you watch me and you don't subscribe it really helps me out when you subscribe so hopefully you subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one